Good morning, my friends. It's Wednesday of Holy Week, April 13th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. My cat is giving herself a bath over there, I think. Yeah. And we're meditating this week on this icon of Christ on the cross. Jagged rocks on the hill of Golgotha on which the cross stands. And he is draped in a simple white cloth linen, almost like a toga. It's pretty clean, which probably wouldn't have been the case. Most likely, uh, we're sure that he hung naked, but many icons don't think that appropriate, understandably. But the nakedness would have been shame coupled with all the pain that he had to endure. Unimaginable. We continue in the Book of Lamentations, and we're really in the midst of trauma here. You know, they say that um, trauma is different neurologically from regular memory, that if regular memory were to go through a triage desk to find a place to be filed away in your brain, that trauma jumps over the triage desk and implants itself much more vividly in your brain. I think it's the human um, evolutionary um, adaptability. We, we want to know the horror of what happens to us so we remember it and we can prevent it from happening again or at least run away. So in a sense the Book of Lamentation is that kind of vivid memory of trauma and the author is telling of uh, the sounds of the temple which used to be bells and praise and calling people to worship are sounds of screaming and um, horror and that God has turned on them and become like an enemy. And there's such vivid detail. Uh, the Lord uh, wiped out the memory of festival and Sabbath and, re and just replaced it with this vivid memory of rage and the abandonment of the altar. What do you do with trauma after it's over? Most people want to run away, forget, get over it. But the opposite is necessary. We want to open those memories back up again and to fill them with light and understanding. This is hard to do and many people want to run. But it's important to look at the cross, to look at our pain, even if we don't understand it. Because in shining light on it, we begin the process of healing. And so this book of poetry of suffering, Lamentations, is a good idea. And if you've been through anything really horrible in your life, it's okay to look at it. In fact, it's more than okay. It's the better thing. Don't be afraid. Tell the truth. Write the poem. Draw it speak it, paint it, sing it, let it out, look at it, look at the cross. It is in fact the way to salvation through the pain, not running away, but moving through. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for this day. As we move closer to the Tridium, the three holy days, we ask you to prepare us in body, mind, and spirit for the coming of your son, Jesus, for his suffering and his resurrection. And as we gaze upon the cross, we ask you to be with the people of Ukraine, Ethiopia, and all areas of the world that are torn apart by horror, trauma, violence. Help us, Lord, to look at these places and to find ways to bring peace. Bless the sick, Lord Christ, and the suffering and all who mourn, those who are lonely, those who struggle with addiction or mental health issues. 
guide us to do your work in the world this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.